Judges always ask about daily activities. They ask how you spend a usual day. They use your description to figure out whether or not your daily activities are consistent with the symptoms and limitations you describe. For example, if you claim to have trouble standing and walking because of severe pain in your legs, but you testify that you periodically go out dancing, the judge will doubt your testimony about your symptoms and limitations. The judge's questioning about your daily activities provides you with a golden opportunity to help your case by giving a lot of details. Let me give you some examples of what happens if you don't give details. The judge asks, what do you do on a usual day? You say, nothing. This is not a good answer. Sitting and staring at a television set is doing something. Sitting and staring out the window is doing something. Sitting and staring at a blank wall or at the ceiling is doing something. So describe to the judge what you do. Here's another bad example. The judge says, what do you do on a usual day? You say, oh, I do some cleaning, cooking, straightening up the house, sometimes some laundry and going to the store. This is a truthful answer since this person does all of these tasks, but it does not help his case. He has left out the important details. He failed to mention that he cleans for only a few minutes at a time. He cooks only simple meals because he cannot stand in the kitchen long enough to do anything more elaborate. He has help doing the laundry, and he always takes his 15-year-old son to the store to carry the groceries. He also failed to mention that he sits in his recliner several times during the day to relieve the pain in his back. In other words, the brief description of the tasks that he did during the day does not support his testimony about disability. However, the details about how he goes about doing these tasks do help his case. To help the judge live your day with you, run through it hour by hour. Emphasize those activities you do differently now because of your health problems. If you think about it, you will probably be able to come up with a long list of activities you do differently now than you did before you became disabled. These activities are important because they show how your disability has affected your life. Describe how long you do an activity and how long you rest afterwards. Tell where you rest, whether it is sitting or lying down, whether it is on the couch or the bed or a recliner chair. Tell how long it takes you to do a project now compared to how long it used to take you. Describe all those things that you cannot accomplish without help from other people, and tell who those other people are and what help they provide.